when I said, when the kids came into the English class, they had their composition books right in front of them. How did that happen? Very simply. I asked for volunteers. Kids want to volunteer. They want to help. And so what I did is I asked for two volunteers who would come to the class as early as they could. They went to the counter where the composition books were, and then they put the composition on each kid's desk. The, kids, the, the two volunteers knew exactly where everybody sat. So as soon as a kid came into the classroom, the composition book was right there. Now notice what I did. I had volunteers. I also had a volunteer for a secretary. I have seen teachers take three or five minutes to take a roll. It shouldn't take more than 15 seconds at the most to take a roll. On the secondary level, if the kids are in chairs, you can have the first person in each chair report who is absent or the last person report who is absent. And so you have a secretary right next to you. And what the secretary does is you record the actual mark in the roll book but the teacher, but pardon me, the secretary will then determine if the kid is on the absence list. If the kid is not on the absence list, then you're supposed to submit some type of a card for the office. The youngster did. I delegate almost everything I can. Now, how did I get a class secretary? I gave the kids a choice. There were requirements. Number one, the person had to have good handwriting so everybody could read. And number two, they had to have good attendance. With those two requirements, anybody could volunteer to become the class secretary. And then we had a vote on it. Notice what I'm doing. I'm giving kids a choice on a regular basis. And the reason being, I want to empower them. And you will hear through the entire discipline without stress approach, the idea is to empower young people. So encouraging volunteerism accomplishes many things for you in addition to lightening your workload in your classroom. It also engages more students and creates a positive environment. Now let's pause to reflect on how you can implement some volunteers in your classroom. Remember, it only takes one student to begin and then watch it build. Just start by asking for volunteers for any responsibility you want done.